Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In November of 1980, ABC Television debuted the pilot for a television show called Bosom Buddies, starring Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari. Now for those not familiar with the show, it followed two single guys who work in an advertising firm who disguise themselves as women in order to be able to live in the one apartment they can afford. Now, one of the other residents of that women's only apartment building is Sunny Lumet, played by the very lovely Donna Dixon. In this video, I will be discussing what she's been up to since Bosom Buddies went off the air after just two seasons. In Bosom Buddies, Dixon's character of Sunny Lumet was the romantic interest for Tom Hanks' character Kip Wilson. In fact, by the second season of the show, Sonny Lumet and several others have figured out that Hanks and Scolari's characters are, in fact, men, but they agree to continue to let them live in the apartment building. Now, as a side note, during the time that Donna Dixon was filming Bosom Buddies, she was also in a relationship with Kiss's frontman, Paul Stanley. Apparently, they were briefly engaged before Donna Dixon broke off the engagement. But Paul Stanley would later write the song, I Still Love You, about Dixon. That song can be found on the KISS album, Creatures of the Night. She would also make a guest appearance on The Love Boat in the first two episodes of the fifth season as Dr. Jill McGraw. In 1983, she would get a part in the comedy Dr. Detroit, a film that starred Dan Aykroyd in his first movie following the death of his great friend, John Belushi. It was during the filming of this movie that she would meet Dan Aykroyd, whom she would later marry. Also that same year, in 1983, she would have a small role in Twilight Zone, the movie, in the segment titled Nightmare at 20,000 Feet. A couple of years later, in 1985, she would appear in another movie with husband Dan Aykroyd that John Landis directed Spies Like Us, which was also co-written by Aykroyd. Now, a few years later, she would appear in The Couch Trip, along with husband Dan Aykroyd, Charles Grodin, and Walter Matthau. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention the brief appearance in Wayne's World in a role billed as Dream Woman. These days, Donna doesn't do much acting in front of the camera, but she did do some vocal work as Megan Number 2 in an episode of the new Twilight Zone as recently as 2020 in an episode called You Might Also Like. Now here's one last picture of Donna Dixon with husband Dan Aykroyd at the launch of Aykroyd's Vodka Company, Crystal Head Vodka, back in 2012. Now what about you? What are your memories of Donna Dixon? I remember her from Bosom Buddies, but I'm not sure I recognized her in all of those other roles, especially Wayne's World. I love that she has had many roles in the movies that Dan Aykroyd was involved with over the years. It's clear that this couple still loves each other dearly. I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel where I talk about the movies, TV shows, and music that I loved when growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe out there, and have a great day.